in this video I want to prove the well-known formula of area of a circle. So let me write the well-known formula of area of a circle. Hopefully you know the formula of area of a circle which is pi times r squared. Okay now this formula uh, has been used for ages. Uh, Babylonians or uh, Egyptians I think found that the area of a circle is about three times the radius squared. Now they did it in different way, uh, they did it by trying to uh, inscribe a circle inside a square. Now we're going to use calculus or integration to prove this formula. Okay, so yeah, uh, to prove the area of a circle, I have drawn a circle with the radius r and the center o. And I hope you know the area of a circle with center 0, 0. Uh, and the radius of r is given by this formula. That is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Okay, now to find the area of a circle, basically, imagine this is a strip which is infinitesimally small. Imagine this is a strip or a rectangle. You can imagine this as a infinitesimally thin rectangle where the width, this is your width, which is your dx, and your height is y. So the area of the strip, so let me write like this, area of one strip, it's a very uh, simple idea, area of one strip, which is infinitesimally thin, is base times height, or your, this is your height and this is your width, that is y times dx. Dot stands for dx. So area of one strip, so let me write area of one strip is y, which is your height, times the base, or base times height. So this is your base, dx is your base, and the y is your height. So that is area of a rectangle. Now if you want to find the area of the, suppose this part, this much, this shaded part, would be the addition of all infinitesimally small rectangles you get from 0 to r. Okay, so area, uh, that would be area of this shaded part. So, and all these, this is a quarter of a circle. So, area of the whole circle would be four times this area. So, you can say area of circle, area of circle, Let me write this, area of circle is four times area of uh, this sector. Area of uh, this sector, which can be given by the integration of definite integration from 0 to r of y dx of y times dx. So basically what we are doing is y times dx is the area of one sector. This is area of one sector. The integration from 0 to r of y dx gives you the area of one sector. And then you times it by 4 will give you the area of the circle. Okay, so that's your idea. So yeah, uh, now what can we do? Now, well, let me change color. So can I say y squared, if you make y squared the subject in this formula, I can write y squared is x squared minus r squared minus x squared. So uh, y, if you make y the subject, is square root of r squared minus x squared. Now we're going to do a bit of uh, algebra and uh, integration, okay? So this will be a bit difficult for some of you if you haven't learned integration. The idea is simple though. So this is equal to a of circle is four times uh, the definite integration from zero to r of square root of r squared minus x squared dx. r squared minus x squared dx minus x squared dx. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to do, I want to get one year. So I'm going to this is, the next step is a bit tricky. So I'm going to multiply by 
1. So how can I multiply by 1? If I multiply by 1 is same as multiplying by r over r, integration of 0 to r of square root of r squared minus x squared. Now I'll do more steps so that you understand. Now I want to keep this r out and multiply this by 1 over r. So this is 4 r integration of 0 to r of square root of. Now whenever you multiply inside the radical, if you have to multiply 1 over r inside the multiplier, you have to multiply by 1 over r squared. So this becomes, I'll explain this in a different way, r squared over r squared minus x squared over r squared. So what have I done? I have basically uh, multiplied this radical by 1 over r. Or if you think conversely, if you factor out 1 over r squared outside this radical or square root sign, you will have 1 over r. And you've got already r sitting here to cancel that 1 over r. I hope this step is clear. Okay, so this becomes 4r times integration from 0 to r of square root of, this becomes 1 minus x squared over r squared. Now the next step is a bit not intuitive. You have to remember because this form, but from once you get this form, this should lead you to think that this looks like a trick uh, form. So let me write the trick form that I am hinting. You have learned 1 minus sine squared x. You should know these trig simple identities. So it's sine squared theta is equal to cos squared theta. Or this has actually come from the trig identity, sine squared plus cos squared equal to 1. So what I'm going to do, the next step is I'm going to do a trig substitution. So I'm going to say let, so let me do it here. Let x over r is equal to uh, sine theta. Let x over r is equal to sine theta. So cross multiplying or multiplying both sides by r, x is equal to r sine theta. Okay, so now differentiating both sides with respect to theta. So I can say d by d theta of x is equal to r times, r is a constant, so I say d by d theta of sine theta. Hope you know the differentiation of sine theta. So d by d theta of x is nothing but dx by d theta. dx by d theta is equal to r times the different the derivative of sine theta is cos theta. So I can say dx is nothing but square root of. Now uh, I'm cross multiplying. So this is multiplying both sides by theta. dx is equal to r cos theta d theta. Now I'm going to change everything from x to a theta form. So this is called a trick substitution. So in place of dx, I can put r cos theta d theta. And in place of x over r, r I can put sine theta. So now this whole thing changes to, to this is equal to 4r uh, times, okay, I will keep the r uh, as it is. Okay, you can also change uh, the limits of uh, integration from 0 to, uh, so let me keep this as 0 to r. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So 0 to r, integration of, this will become 1 minus x over r is sine theta. So x squared over r squared becomes sine squared theta. This is sine squared theta times what is dx? dx is r cos theta times d theta. Okay, so this is equal to, so let me write it here. So this is equal to 4r times integration from 0 to r. So this is nothing but uh, uh, square root of cos squared theta because 1 minus sine squared is cos squared times r cos theta d theta. Okay, so let me scroll down, so I need more space. So this is equal to, I'll factor the r out, so this is 4r squared 
times 0 to r. So this will become cos theta times cos theta, which is cos squared theta times d theta. Okay. So I'm going to, I can do this by different way, but I'm going to use the power reduction formula for cos. So let me write the formula here. So you might be doing the double angle formula for cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta. The double angle formula for cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta minus 1. So I, if you make 2 cos squared theta the subject, so 2 cos squared theta is equal to cos 2 theta plus 1. Okay, and dividing both sides by 2 cos squared theta is uh, 2, sorry, cos 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so, oops, so let me scroll down. So this is cos theta or cos squared theta. Is simplifying this, this is half plus half cos 2 theta. So I'm going to substitute this back in this form. Okay, so we're going to, in place of cos squared theta, I can put half plus half uh, cos 2 theta. So this becomes, so this is equal to 4r squared integration from 0 to r of half plus half cos 2 theta. So you can factor out the half. So if you factor out the half, so this is, so let me do the working here. So this is 4r squared if divided by 2. I'm factoring out the 2. Integration from 0 to r of 1 plus cos 2 theta d theta. Okay, so this is equal to 2r squared integration from 0 to r of uh, 1 so let I can distribute the I can distribute the integration so integration of uh, 1 d theta plus integration from 0 to r of cos 2 theta d theta okay so this is equal to 2 r squared uh, integration of uh, this would be integration of 1 d theta is nothing but theta and this would be integration of cos theta is uh, sine theta but you have to do apply the chain rule so this is integration of cos 2 theta will be cos 2 theta divided by 2 okay and the limit of integration is 0 to r okay now we need to the limit of integration is from 0 to r, so we need to bring it, bring this back in terms of x, because uh, you can put r in place of x, not in place of theta. Now what is, let's go back, what is, what's the substitution that we did? Okay, so let me show it here. So this is, so theta in terms of x and r, I hope you understand that theta is sine inverse of x x divided by r theta is sine inverse of this and so let us put that back so this is 2r squared uh, so I can use this blue color so this is 2r squared so let me simplify this a little uh, plus 2 uh, so before substituting, so let me multiply this by 2 theta plus sine 2 theta divided by 2. Okay. So this becomes, so you can factor out the 2 out. So this becomes 2 r squared over 2 times uh, 2 theta plus now sine 2 theta can be written as double angle, double angle for sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta. Okay, now the limit of integration is 0 to r. Again, here the limit of integration is 0 to r. So this is equal to r squared times 
times 2 now theta is sine inverse of sine inverse of x over r plus okay you can you could have factored so let me factor the two out so yeah so this becomes you can factor the two out so this becomes 2r squared times sine inverse of x over r plus what is sine theta sine theta is we did a substitution sine theta is x over r and cos theta is what is cos theta cos theta is okay so let me show that again so yeah let me do the substitution so but what is x x over r is equal to sine theta okay but x over r is sine theta which implies theta is sine inverse of is equal to sine inverse of x over r okay and squaring both sides so you can say x squared over r squared is equal to 1 minus uh, this becomes 1 minus cos squared theta okay now let me do one more step so when you square this side this is sine squared theta this is 1 x squared over r squared is sine squared theta so x squared over r squared is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta okay and uh, making cos squared the subject cos squared theta is 1 minus x squared over r squared so we can say cos theta is the square root of 1 minus x squared over r squared okay so let me scroll down so in place of so let me put it back here so i can can i put it here so this is equal to 2 sine theta is x over r so 2 x over r times cos theta is square root of 1 minus uh, x squared over r squared okay so and the uh, integration is from 0 to r okay so now so let me highlight this if i could let me highlight this whole thing copy uh copy and let me paste it yeah so that i don't have to write this whole thing again so this is the limit okay so this is finally we have got here so now you have to put uh, the limit back into the uh, this formula so this is 2r squared this is 2r squared times so let me put the upper limit so that is sine inverse sine inverse of r sine inverse of if you put the upper limit that is r over r plus 2 r over r times square root of 1 minus r squared over r squared so this will become 0 okay so this is the upper limit minus the lower limit if you put the lower limit this will become sine inverse of sine inverse of this is 0 over r becomes 0 plus 2 times 0 over r will become 2 times 0 this whole thing will become 0 so this is in fact sine inverse of 0 is 0 okay and sine inverse of 1 is pi by 2 so this is 2r squared 2r squared times sine inverse so this becomes sine inverse of 1 sine inverse of 1 and this is 0 can you see this becomes this whole thing is 1 minus 1 which is 0 so this whole thing is 0 this is also 0 so this is only sine inverse of 1 and sine inverse of 1 is what it is 90 degree or pi by 2 because sine 90 is 1 so this is sine inverse of pi by 2 sorry sine inverse of 1 is pi by 2 so the 2 and 2 gets cancelled and we got the formula which is pi r squared and that's how the area of it area of a circle centered at 0 0 and the radius of r is pi r squared